<laughs> Mitt Romney went over the top last night, formally clinching the nomination with a win in Texas. But those over-the-top comments from Donald Trump stole some of the headlines, and Romney is facing a new attack this morning from the Obama campaign. It's your voice, your vote with ABC's Jake Tapper. Good morning, Jake. Good morning, George. That's right. ABC News has learned that starting this morning, the Obama campaign will open up a new front in their attacks on Mitt Romney, going after his record as governor of Massachusetts when the state of Massachusetts ranked 47th in the nation in job creation. This comes at the same time, as you mentioned, when Romney risks being overshadowed by Donald Trump, who keeps bizarrely attacking the president falsely for not being born in the United States. Overnight, Mitt Romney was raising money with Donald Trump, who's on a fact-free tear spewing birther nonsense alleging the president was not born in the U.S. A lot of people do not think it was an authentic certificate. How can you a say that if this... If this... report it, Wolf, but many people do not think it was authentic. Donald, Donald, you're, you're beginning to sound a little ridiculous. I have to no, tell I you. you are, Wolf. Republicans say it's risky for Romney to continue to appear with Trump since it undercuts his seriousness and suggests he's not willing to stand up it, to even the most offensive and true. false nonsense from that wing of his party. You know, I, I don't agree with all the people who support me, and my guess is they don't all agree with everything I, I believe in, but I need to get 50.1 percent or more. And I'm uh, appreciative to have the help of a lot of good people. For their part, this morning, the Obama campaign will launch a new line of attack, saying Romney made all the same promises when he ran for governor 10 years ago, and the results were less than stellar. Take job creation, for instance. He told this to college students in 2002. This is a critical election for you. Uh, this may determine whether or not there's a job waiting at the end of your graduation. Similar to today's pitch. When you get out of college, if I'm president, you'll have a job. If President Obama's reelected, you will not be able to get a job. The attack, as Obama campaign advisor David Axelrod tweeted last week, quote, he sold the same hooey in Massachusetts 10 years ago and then turned in one of the worst performances of any governor in the USA, 47th in job creation. Then, as now, Romney sold himself as a conservative businessman who could right the economic ship. I have experience in the private sector, building and creating thousands of good jobs, and I want to bring that skill for you here in Massachusetts. And the Obama team will use officials from Massachusetts to make that attack starting tomorrow. In response, the Romney campaign, George, says Romney created more jobs in the state of Massachusetts than President Obama has for the entire nation. We're happy to compare the 4.7 percent unemployment rate Mitt Romney was able to accomplish any day against President Obama's failure to meet his own goal of 6 percent right now. George. And Jake, the Romney campaign in their ads keeping a bullseye on the president's jobs record. Take a look. to create jobs. How's he doing? You've heard of Solyndra. They took $535 million in taxpayer loan guarantees and went bankrupt. They're saying this is the response to the president's team's attacks on Bain Capital. That's right. They're trying to make it appear as though President Obama is a venture capitalist and the stimulus and the auto bailout uh, were his funds for investing and he failed as well. You're going to see the Romney campaign focus laser like on the economy and the Obama campaign try to make Mitt Romney an unacceptable alternative, even as the president is underwater in his approval rating, George. OK, Jake Tapper, thanks very much.